All right, guys, so we made it to the supercharger here in Madison, Wisconsin, and check out what we ran into. This is kind of nuts. Check this out. All right, so what are we looking at here? What is this thing? All right, so this is just, uh, it started as a 1981 DeLorean, uh, just your standard DMC-12 with a 2.8 liter uh, V6. Nice. And uh, we went ahead and dropped that because it was kind of an anemic power plant to begin with. <laughs> uh, so now we're running a Tesla Model 3 performance motor in it. Um, wow. We're pushing about 60 to 65 kilowatt hours of battery, running NMC batteries in it out of two battery boxes that we've custom fabricated uh, oh. to fit the unit. So typically you used to have uh, the engine filling the entire bay here. So what we've done is custom fabricated the battery box to now allow a uh, lower profile in the rear end. So DeLoreans don't come with a trunk, ours does. So Take a look at this. See our custom fabricated battery box. We're running two individual circuits of coolant, one for the motor and uh, one for the batteries and charging system. In it, uh, we've got type one, type two, and DC fast charging all available right here. Take a look at that. So we went ahead and custom fabricated the door because when you when you see conversions to electric vehicles, oftentimes it just doesn't look original. Yeah. And the whole idea is for us to keep it as original looking as possible. We want it to be a genuine sleeper. Yeah, you fooled so, me. Yeah. When you pulled up here, I was like, what is this guy doing here? And he backs into a Tesla supercharger. Look yeah. at that. So if you look down here, this is the rear of our battery box. So we went ahead and threw in the, oh, the, the jet like giveaway there with electric. <laughs> I like that. That's um, so sweet. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise walking up to it, you really wouldn't you know, know any other way. Not at all. Um, that is crazy, man. But. Uh, yeah, on the interior, we've actually modified all the gauges to function. Oh, no. Nice. So they maintain an original look to them. Very nice. Um, but we've gone ahead and modified all the gauges to now function uh, with our BMS system, with uh, the motor control unit, everything else. So we get um, actual information. Like instead of having uh, RPMs, we now have amps, <laughs> which is a fully functional readout. Very cool. We've got our battery temperature. We've got our battery percent state of charge on the far right Very over there. Cool. Um, and uh, then we've got our motor control, or rather our motor temperature, and our voltage of how many volts we're uh, we're running. Very cool. Yeah, so this that thing we can looks very those. stock. I mean, you... and then when we fire it up, we have this little nice sweeping gauge situation. Very nice. But again, you look at that, and you're not reading anything. It looks exactly like the original gauge <laughs> cluster. So that was super important to us. It was important to us to still have some kind of a stick in the middle yeah, instead of that. push buttons or a, or a rotating dial. We don't want that. Yeah. We want to still have the feel. We custom fabricated the system, or the uh, the center console like that to have uh, wireless phone charging as well. Oh, look at that. I didn't so see that. in order to keep a singled in stereo like original and and maintain our, our air vents as well, uh, we didn't want to put in a doubled in or anything like that. So. Now we have wireless charging. We can drop our phone right on there. You connect directly to the <laughs> stereo. Look at that. And uh, and it gives us you know everything we want right there. Um, in the front end, we still have the original frunk. I've got the car cover there. Nice. But it looks totally original. Look at that. And then, uh, so you've got all your original storage in here. We've not taken up any extra utility of the vehicle. Nice which is really cool so we still have the original front storage you still have the parcel tray behind the front seats we haven't taken up any excess there nice and then we have that addition of the trunk in the rear which is super awesome <laughs> very cool and uh yeah it does zero to 60 in 4.23 seconds it does the quarter mile in just slightly under or over 12 seconds wow that's um, incredible which is really great and uh and it handles amazingly well <laughs> um it now drives like the delorean looks like it should drive very nice uh, yeah which is definitely really great um and and it's just an absolute blast it's quiet <laughs> um and uh it rolls like any gt car should but then it also performs like you know a model three all, performance uh, yeah model very three cool performance which is fantastic and, and again you know it just looks like a regular old delorean <laughs> which is even better that's so, incredible yeah, it'll blow your hair back and surprise you. oh i'm sure i'm sure well hey we kind of just ran into you on a whim here what's your shop's yeah. name where are you guys located we're called hoffman ev so we do custom uh conversions on nice. vintage vehicles uh we also do uh classic bentleys and rolls royces as oh, well very as cool. uh, classic land rovers nice um so yeah we've got a land rover uh series 2a oh that, very cool uh, we converted over and that one's super fast it's all wheel drive very cool uh, well i'll link them down below if you guys want to check them out uh, it looks like we have to do a proper tour of their facility too. We're on our way to, to uh, Kalahari as you guys know, but we ran into uh, this gentleman with this beautiful car here. So we might have to do a full uh, stop at their facility and check it out and see what they've got going on over there. Let me know if you guys want to see that down below.